Tonight is a great event. It's the Creative Coast Innovation Awards where we're celebrating innovative minds that have done fantastic things in Savannah's Creative Coast. Sustainability was a key theme for the event. This is the third year I've been inv involved with the event and it evolved from just having a category from Sustainability Awards to actually embodying sustainability into the event itself. I got involved in the Creative Coast a couple years ago by approaching them to present award for a category for sustainability and innovation in sustainability. I became knowledgeable about sustainability first through just a, an, an ingrown passion that I had for the environment and for helping to protect it. I ended up going, moving to Charleston to get my master's degree in it and focus on it, but it really started flourishing when I came to work for Malavra Incorporated. Uh, through my four years with the company, I've really gotten a sound foundation and fortunately I've been able to translate that through consulting to help other organizations uh, green their own business practice, green the buildings that they're in, and in this case, green the event that we're putting on. We've incorporated a host of green strategies to make this event as minimal impact on the environment as possible. To begin with the food, we worked with the caterer to have all local or organic food be served, and the caterer is also going to compost any food scraps that are left over. All of the glassware, napkins, and plates are reusable, except for some corn-based plastic glasses that the bar is using, which we are going to actually compost after the event. We have recycling for the event provided by the City of Savannah. We offset all the carbon emissions generated by this event, both from the electricity consumed at the event, as well as people transporting themselves, whether they drove or carpooled to the event. And that was through a donation of carbon offsets by Renewable Energy, uh, Renewable Choice Energies. We're offering preferred parking to people coming to the event if they showed up in a carpool or if they took an alternative form of transportation, such as a hybrid or alternative fueled vehicles. Uh, we're, instead of a standard flower centerpiece, which typically get thrown away after the event, we've actually worked with Farmer D Organics to use uh, local greens and rosemary, sage, and some field greens as our centerpieces. Uh, guests of the event are actually going to be able to take those home and they can just plant it directly in the ground, pot and all, and have their own local organic greens growing their own backyard. Well, innovation and sustainability go hand in hand. Uh, a lot of the problems that we're seeing with the world, whether it's greenhouse gas emissions or sea level rises, it'll require a lot of personal action, but it's also going to require a lot of innovation to try and come up with solutions to help fight these problems. Even though global warming or climate change is a global, international issue, you can really begin to address it at home uh, through individual actions at the state, local, and individual level. And that, while any of those actions on their own will not have a significant impact, when you actually combine that um, with other cities that are doing the same sort of thing, you end up seeing profound impacts. It's actually demonstrated by uh, another green strategy we did tonight, which was we've given away through a partnership with Georgia Power uh, to every guest a 13 watt compact fluorescent light bulb, which replaces a 60 watt bulb. And if we actually could get five of those bulbs in every household in Savannah, the residents of this city would be saving over $1.5 million annually, as well as uh, reducing 11,000 tons of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere. So one bulb on its own wouldn't do a whole lot, but you put five bulbs into each household and you start seeing tremendous impacts.